So, Marius, at last I'll find you. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault. Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... It was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the Eastern Gate. When I dreamt, the memories would return. Memories of the monastery and the evil which it claimed. Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. Could he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? Demons of his own that he struggled to contain. <laughs> he was losing. Came convinced that I was truly mad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder?
I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. traveled east, over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that arid wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel looped the lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within the tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutkulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. My companion drew in the dank, cold air of the tomb. It seemed to strengthen him. I stood in the doorway between light and dark. What was left of my sanity implored me not to enter. But that voice was just a whisper now. As we worked our way down, deeper and deeper into the crypt, I began to see a change in my companion. He seemed to be gaining strength. I could hardly see in the gloom, but my companion seemed to know the way. We came at last to a great hall.
was then I realized my companion hadn't been gaining strength. He had been losing what was left of his humanity. He moved with demonic speed and then... And then you appeared. Stop! The beast contained herein shall not be set free. Not even by you. It is you told me, Tyriel. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Dalrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself, Mephisto. I heard a voice that, like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The infernal day has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell be opened. And the evil that was once vanquished shall rise to you. Wrapped in the guise of man shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. The sky shall rain fire, and the seas will become as blood. The righteous shall fall before the wicked, and all creation shall tremble before the burning standards of hell. What I saw then was not meant for mortal eyes. The gate stands ready. Now, my young brother, the time has come to assume your true form. Arise, the 
now know one. Lord of Terror. stone and all is forgiven. Give it to me, Marius. Take it. Take it, take it. I'm glad this is finally over, Tyrion. Look what the stone has done to me. <laughs> You haven't failed, old man. You've done exactly as you were meant to do. However, I am not the Archangel Tyriel. There. You have done well, Marius. Now I think you shall have your reward.
Bail! The gates of Sacheron have stood for eons beyond remembrance, and you shall not breach them now. Remove your foul demons from our lands. We stand on the side of light. You shall not be allowed to reach Mount Ariat. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! I shall take your position into consideration. Well, it seems your terms are not acceptable. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 